Cabramatta offers more than 60 eateries, 30 jewellery shops, almost 30 fish, meat and poultry shops and thousands of fabric designs to choose from. Over the past 20 years, Cabramatta has transformed from a drug capital to a fine food tourist destination. With 70% of Cabramatta's population born overseas, largely in Southeast Asia, Cabramatta's cuisine surges with Asian flavours. Walking tours are conducted through Cabramatta at least once a month, stopping at restaurants, fruit and vegetable markets and eateries to provide the authentic Vietnamese experience. Since their initiation in 2010, they have proved successful and helped Cabramatta flourish. However, it is not only tourists who benefit, but also the local Vietnamese immigrants as they interact in a comfortable environment. Jack Huynh, waiter at Khoi Hung Cafe and Restaurant of his own family business, moved to Australia six years ago with his family. Working in his restaurant gives him the chance to share his own food experience and interact comfortably with his customers. I find here we have some of the dishes that I was brought up with in my childhood. I, I used to eat before school, my favourite dishes. Yeah. The cafe experience offers more than food and coffee, but also a lifestyle similar to their one in Vietnam. Currently we are serving more of the locals. They come here every day for the coffee, for the food, to hang out with their friends, relax after work, before work. That's exactly what they do in Vietnam. They're used to the lifestyle in Vietnam. They drink coffee twice a day, one in the morning and one in the afternoon. I really enjoy the local interactions with, um, the, with other people. I get to talk to them, ask how they, they, they're doing. And most of the times in Vietnamese, sometimes in English. The Mayor of Fairfield City Council, Frank Carboni, believes that food is central to the success of what Cabramatta is today and helps the understanding grow between different cultures. There's no doubt that uh, part of the food uh, that, is ex that is sold here in Cabramatta has changed the way people see Cabramatta. Uh, it's really expressed the culture of, uh, of, of, of our city uh, and there's no better way to do it than through the tummy, if you will. People also get a better acknowledgement and a better understanding uh, of, uh, of different people's cultures. So I think that uh, food is central uh, to part of the success to what Cabramatta is today. As part of Good Food Month in October, Many local restaurants in Cabramatta employ the signature dish campaign to help both tourists and locals in Cabramatta benefit from their food experience. Nhung Chun, spokesperson for Hung Tsu Vietnamese restaurant, has lived in Australia for three years and explains the relevance of their spring roll signature dish. We have a lot of kind of food here like pho and uh, rice noodle and paper stock, but our signature dish is spring roll. My boss chose that as a signature dish because it has a reason. You can eat the spring roll during cold weather or hot weather. It's flexible. Yeah. Cabramatta's food and tourism success can be largely contributed to the popularity of online blogs, from the likes of former councillor and current food blogger Tang Nyo and the author of the I Heart Cabramatta blog, Anna Wong. The online community established by them encourages visitors to the area. There was a family the other day they came and they mentioned that they're all the way from the North Shore. They came here just for the food. They love Vietnamese food and they came here just for it. I think we're very lucky we've got such a diverse culture um, and that has come out in the, in the success of our businesses through the many restaurants that we have. We have such a large variety of food um, that really brings a lot of people to Cabramatta um, both in tourism and in many other forms. The attraction of food and culture is continuing to grow within Cabramatta as both tourists and locals share in the culture of Southeast Asia. This is Jacinta Spees for UTS News.